In the name of God, Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, we thank him for his prophets and their scriptures. We thank him for Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. But of all of the prophets, there's only one that the Quran says will return. And that is Jesus, the Messiah. To the beloved family of the Reverend Doctor, father of many sons, pastor to many pastors, the Reverend Dr. Clay Evans, to all of you who are present, and to all who spoke and to all who sang, I rejoiced in your praise of God and in your praise of one whom God sent to minister unto us all. To Pastor Jenkins, Pastor Sharp, to Bishop Smith and to my beloved brother, Minister Meeks, to all of the choir, I want to talk to you and ask of you a question. What does it mean to be a true disciple and apostle of the Lord? Jesus Christ. There are many great characteristics that we could say about Reverend Dr. Evans. I want to thank the Reverend Jesse Lewis Jackson for introducing me to his pastor Reverend Clay Evans, and again introducing me to the exquisite beauty of the black church. Thank you, Reverend Jackson. What does it mean to be a true disciple? Because no man can be true except he's been tried. And Satan's job is to try those who claim God and claim Jesus as Lord. What does it mean to be a true disciple? It means to be baptized in the word of God, the gospel. What does it mean to be baptized, to be washed and cleansed in the blood of the Lamb? What does it mean to be a true servant? Who though our sins be like scarlet, but in the blood of the Lamb, they're washed white as snow. That's what I met when Reverend Jackson introduced me to his pastor, a spiritual father 
to me and he recognized me as one of his sons. When you meet a man that has gone through the trials that he has gone through to be to us what he has become to all of us, then each of us at his home going need to redeclare ourselves. Don't just talk about Jesus. But many can talk about it. But what we need today are those who live Jesus Christ. And Pastor Evans didn't just talk Jesus. When you met him, you met a reflection of Jesus. And if all of us, though we talk, the great talk if we would walk the great walk then at his home going there'll be a revival of that black church that can give salvation and redemption to our people Jesus the Redeemer. Jesus the Savior. Jesus who paid a price for redemption of all, all sinful souls. So when the scripture asks the question, is there a bomb in Gilead? To make the wounded whole? Yes, there is a bomb in Gilead to save a sin-sick soul. So our pastor, our father, our brother, was a bomb among us. He was always there to comfort us in the trials of our ministry, the trials of our trying to pastor the flock of God. And if you know anything about the flock of God, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how difficult it is to be a good shepherd to a stiff-necked, hard-hearted, and rebellious people. But in him, we had a perfect example of how to be true to our discipleship. He, Dr. Clay Evans, walked among us. He made himself of no reputation like the master, but he made me to know that it's not difficult to be Christ-like. He made me to know you can live this life. You can walk this path. You can face Satan with courage and beat him down in the name of him who gives us power to overcome. So all of you great pastors, all of you great bishops, all of you great ministers, all of you great ones, and that's all of you. Let's come from this place today renewed with the spirit of our teacher. Let's come from this place today saying we're going home to our church and revive it in his name.
He'll show you how to do it if you didn't know how to do it because he did it in all his life. He renewed people. I have a disease of law and love for my people that I will not shrink in the face of the enemy. And so he embraced me and let me know, minister, it is well with our Lord. So to God and to God alone be the glory. And I thank you, dear brother, from the depth of my heart. That's my favorite song. Yeah, Reverend Jackson brought me to the gospel. Yeah, Reverend Jackson brought me into the black church. And don't be surprised that I found him. I'm talking about the master. I'm talking about the Messiah. I'm talking about a man baptized in the Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Reverend Clay Evans. Thank you for allowing me this privilege. Peace be unto you all. Assalamu alaikum.